new CSGO pro tips and tricks that we're gonna start with Xerado's dirty move, how to take weapons away from enemy team who are about to successfully explode the bomb on the A-bomb side. A great wall bang that if executed with the right timing a couple of seconds before the explosion could get you a frag or just damage opponents enough to make them go down with a bomb. Smart stuff. Next up a Molotov idea that was in one of my previous trick videos months ago, done with a smoke by S1N. This could just trick B defenders who are guarding short, but most importantly, it also denies Molotovs in the short bottle hole, so your B split won't be slowed down by fires like that. Surely a hippie approach, and I bet these are the unique ideas that you're here for. We're gonna continue with Nuke and the move from Ents. Firstly, Doto mollies the squeaky door, plus 10 follows it up with a sneaky right side of the door smoke, which they use to build a two man tower with Sphinx going on the top. What a nice 400 IQ move to surprise anyone at lobby, this time the luck shines for Saibu. Next up, the Dust 2 move, that's a must try when you have time to do that, plus they have smoked you off. Alexi boosts Mantu on the box so he could see through the top door gap towards the speak box area. If anyone would be there, they might get hurt, but in this round, no impact from this fabulous two man tower, just a peaceful observation. If you would get in the corner under the short roof like Acre, aim close to this wood line cross, plus run and left click throw. You get a smooth molotov for mini pit, which forces all the sneaky campers to move away from their cover. Just see how cold Sarah got shut down from this position, as it's much much harder to defend A when you decide to hide in mini pit, but then all of a sudden are forced to move out. If you like it deep like JKS, I'm talking about the banana nade, then you can climb those boxes, aim under the door, plus run and jump throw. This will go nice and deep into banana, plus do some decent damage. In this case, it was Babski who ate it, losing around 50 HP by doing so. Next up, Kikert with an intelligent wall bank towards sandbags on Vertigo. The wallbang line uses this small piece of wood for maximum damage and in this particular case was very successful for Kikert as it got fallen out from the round. Team Endpoint close to T-spawn start point on Dust 2, firstly Flames believes he might be able to fly and is desperate to take off, but when he realizes he can't do this yet, they find another weird tower position where they are caught up into a gunfight and it ends up with Flames being in a creative two-man tower, although he's still getting destroyed. What a nice through the jungle angle though. Next up enters with a two-in-one Mirage window smoke, he crouches in the middle of the T-spawn door, aims where the window white border plus balcony edge meet, then moves a bit forward and jump throws a smoke. This trajectory is awesome because it wouldn't matter if opponents molly window or not, smoke will still be covering it, so enemies have no free chances to peek you from window. In this round, window got mollied and as you can see, smoke leaves no gaps for opponents to work with, plus the smoke will work without the fire as well. Super general. Alright, Elysian Inferno, showing that it's very much possible to come up with new stuff on old maps even in 2021, he goes to boiler and lines himself up with a light switch, then aims at the bottom of the boiler leg, plus jump throws, then climbs up on the Grim who is used to be at the bottom and enjoys a great one way vision towards A apps. Frag on the board and what an awesome move from liquid side. Here's how Neofrag likes to peek over past Banana. Easy, like taking candy from a baby. Mir and Dexter both have a great spawn, so they are going for this quick window boost to get Mir into a ladder room as quickly as it gets. Not that uncommon move, but it's often successful. Keep in mind it's important to have the best possible spawns to go for it though. We're gonna continue from Inferno in Nico's POV and here's his run throw way to quickly smoke off coffins. 
kind of loosey goosey one, but if you go in the pocket, aim at the stone balcony, kind of like shown, plus run and release it soon enough, you get an extra quick on the go coffin smoke. Landing place obviously might vary a bit, since it's very hard to get it land in the pixel perfect same spot as you're moving, but if you practice, it's not that hard to block off coffins with this one, use it well and rush B at least twice a day. Jack Inho's Molotov on the map that got beaten up by Ancient. He hugs left side con wall, aims like shown at the dark area of the bomb train. 10 runs plus jump throws a tiny bit before he hits the railing on the ground. Molotov bounces off from the wall, landing deep inside T main, and as a creme brulee, gets this annoying box corner as well. A very well placed fire, especially if you want to go for T main aggression. Next up, Robs with a clever wall bank towards Pop Dog. Here's how it goes. It's not that deadly as Spin X got hit once and lost only 3 HP, but the wall bank also just scares the opponent, so they would most likely reposition, and it gives you a sound cue info if you will manage to hit anyone. Here's how spirit guys are ready to greet anyone who tried to retake banana meat round. Astralis does their smoke plus molotov combo to potentially gain some space at top banana, and spirit answers with a two man tower on top of the wood to see over the smoke. This round, no action though. Another quick tip on Mirage, this time from Kenzie's POV, a useful thing to do, yet you don't see many people doing it that often. If you go out A, it's very easy to know if anyone is playing from the annoying ninja corner, just shoot a couple of bullets through the wooden box like that. One guy from ramp can shoot a couple of similar bullets, and if your palace teammate hears the damage sound cues, take a peek out plus pre-fire that spot. Easy, like raising stock prices for Elon Musk. I believe NATO Suffix was the first to show it, but here is Naf with the same Molotov that lands into a weird stuck position which makes the fire go through the wall towards T side middle as well as underneath the ground close to B ramp. It's not the deadliest Molotov out there, rather an info one, so if they want to rush mid or B, you should be at least hearing quickly the damage sound cues and therefore call it early. You might have seen it from one of my previous videos, but if you crouch in this corner, plus aim like a real hunter, then left click throw a smoke, and you get a great one way that should slow down enemy team exactly like it does in this round, and not only you, but also your teammate who plays deep A bomb site can use it in their advantage. Vertigo, a cool ladder info position from Lecro, you can see people from the gap, while this metal construction gives you a decent cover, and after this little trick, Lecro does Lecro here. Next up a smoke by Vinny that at the first glance seems very basic, but I like the idea how he got a contact from heaven and then quickly threw a simple left click smoke towards hell. That makes enemies guessing game a lot harder because they have no idea from which level you might peek them next. And to make things even worse for them, depending on where you exactly place the smoke, it grants you with multiple sneaky angles to work with behind that smoke. Like one pretty unknown sports brand has said, just do it. Robs' POV with a very very underrated spot on train, it's a great off angle that lets you see all the guys who jump down there first as their legs appear before they can even see you. Also for the opponents who peek you from stairs, you're at a hippie angle plus most of the T models do a great job blending you in with the background here. Let's see it from JW's perspective. As you could see a very hard duel for an enemy, in this case JW to win. Here we are in Nafani's eyes on overpass, I saw an easy plus interesting left click smoke from this headshot position towards dumpster, just aim at the top of this post and the left click throw, although I have to warn you that the result only partly covers dumpster as it leaves gaps on the left side of the smoke, still majority of the entrance is smoked and seems like Gambit is pleased with this one, use it on your own risk though. Mirage with Sarsen, here he throws a great supportive smoke towards middle from B abs, a corner position plus left of the plant aiming spot, then a left click throw and that's a smoke for short that blocks off connector plus helps Xantares to split B with them, he was also the key for Big to win this round, so what an awesome smoke to keep him safe. Afro's POV and Nuke with a quick outside run boost peak early in the round. 
there's no huge speed difference compared to regular boost from the ground, but if executed correctly, it can be a tiny bit faster, plus it surely adds some style points. Make sure to land rather on the edge of the box, so you can organize your peaking game a bit better after you land, because if you would land straight up in the middle of the box, they could already see you, and you just can't argue that flying is a hell of a beautiful thing. Alright, an amazing little longhouse cap from Magic Stream. I know it's pretty hard to see, but at the right angle, you can spot enemies entering the longhouse via this tiny tiny gap. You potentially just gonna see this bright area going dark when someone passes by, and you'll see it even before you can see their shadow through the doors. And there's also a vice versa gap that you can spot people from, although I would say the first gap has a tiny bit better line to actually be more useful. Now subscribe to the channel or 